everybody, it's Kelly. Welcome to another edition of Haunt Life tonight. Right next to me, wherever, which side, that's T O Double D Z, that's Pepe Le Feishuan. He's over there, or over there, I'm not quite sure. Over uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? How you doing? Hey. So, yeah. Kelly, tell them what we got going on today. What are we doing? Ja, Jen and Michael are bringing you another edition of Reapers Recalled. We are going to take you through a few more things we've got for the new attraction. I know everybody's excited about the new attraction. We've got some tidbits of information. We are definitely making headway, and uh, it's going to be a great show. It's Friday, everybody. Welcome. It's Friday. Let's break some news, <laughs> brother. Let's break. do it. This just in. <laughs> We're or, back. <laughs> you know, this just in, or earlier this week. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I mean, Kelly, I know you and I are both excited. We've been working on our facade work. We're excited about a lot of things we got going. We got concrete in the building today. Oh, yeah. It's setting right now in eight hours. Oh, it's yeah. going to be good. Don't let me catch anybody up there trying to walk through it. Writing your name in it and stuff. Don't yeah. do it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is not anything you want to do right now because no. you will not make it off the mountain. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's been great. I think we've been back uh, – you know, a few weeks now, uh, things are moving forward. Uh, we're seeing progress. Every day, I think we're more excited about the possibility of opening this year. Um, Very optimistic. Yeah. You know, I mean, I've been doing so much work, I forgot to shave today. That's all right. A little 5 o'clock shadow. Looks good. Looks good on you. Looks good on you. Uh, I don't know. It was like 3.30 in the morning. Kind of <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, as, as everybody's been seeing with the pictures I'm filtering in while you and I are gabbing away, um, I'm really digging this this new attraction. It's been a few years since we put one in. Delirium is the name of it. Yes, it and, is. Uh, as people are seeing, uh, there's lots of progress going on. The walls start going up in about another week. Electric is going to be done next week. We're still um, keeping so, we're still keeping things pretty hush hush because we want to surprise everybody. But we're yeah. gonna, we're going to slowly we're going to cr creep it in there just to, just see so uh, you get a taste and then we're going to pull it right back. And say, no, yep. no, no, not yet. <laughs> yep. And we're already planning on our next uh, content photo video shoot, um, which is just after the 4th of July, the week after you're back from your birthday. Well, no, no, um, your birthday, your birthday. <laughs> yeah, I know it is yeah. my birthday that day. Happy birthday, Todd. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for the birthday wishes. I love the edible arrangements that were sent. Thank you. I don't know. Somebody <laughs> sent me an edible arrangement from uh, Arby's. I was like, Okay, eating cheddar, thank you. Um, so, hey, why don't we get to uh, Reapers Recalled then? Here it is, Reapers Recalled with Jenna Michael. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Reapers Revenge Recalled. I'm your host, Michael Bellardi, with my most favorite person in the world and co-host, Jen Marino. Hi. So Jen and I have had one hell of a week this week. Uh, we've been very, very busy doing a lot of different things, some tougher things going on. And, you know, I just, it's, it's Friday. I feel like I need to kick off the weekend with some, some fun, some smiling, some happy, some laughter. And the one thing that always works for me is watching that Sector 13 slow motion video that we have for Reaper's Revenge that I created years ago i think four or five years ago i created that and i know we've shared it publicly but you know every time i sit down and i watch it i just i just i get reminded of how much fun is ahead and it makes me smile and laugh it just makes me instantly feel better so i feel like i'm going to share that with you jen and we can, just do, we can just do a <laughs> two by play as this whole thing goes on because I, I i every time i play this video i just laugh and it's awesome it's a goodie I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get started. Ready? And in three, two, one, cue. We have this old logo. Right? <laughs> yeah, we've been through a couple since then, I think. <laughs> well, this one's just running, running, and running. This little guy totally ditched his sister and he doesn't even care. Yeah. <laughs> Nut in there. Wing Nut was a fun character. I, I love that dude. <laughs> he has since retired. Um, 
from having all his dreadlocks pulled out by the same chainsaw. <laughs> This guy is just straight up sidestepping and his girlfriend is laughing at him as he leaves. <laughs> Jesse Denny. Jesse Denny's in there. This girl is so cute. She's just having fun. Made correct direct eye contact with my camera. Like just so happy for being chased with chainsaws. Right? <laughs> Look at this guy's face. Happy, scared. I don't know. <laughs> well, this guy is Pause it, pause it. This guy is completely calm. Look at this guy's face. He doesn't, it isn't face. Like, if this is your fear face, if this is your fear, you're running, I, I, don't, I don't know what emotion. Yeah, no, it's just, I'm done. I'm done here. <laughs> I'm but I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run because I'm scared, but I'm not gonna show it on my face. Yeah, yeah, it's And of course, you have big Jesse Denny back there just snarling up. Right? I miss that guy. What I'm more concerned about is this pig in the background. When when did we let pigs into Sector 13? I don't remember this. <laughs> I, 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 to be honest with you, I, I don't know. That was right? like a thing. And mind you, Kelly and I were both the managers of Sector 13 this year that this was shot. So that might explain, that, that explain it. <laughs> let, let, let's keep rolling. Alright. And play. This. Yeah, definitely a pig in a bathrobe. Oh, look at this boy's face. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it at the end. <laughs> this, this girl, like her boyfriend's like, come on, we gotta go. We're done at Target now. Let's keep moving. <laughs> This guy direct eye contact with the camera laughing. Oh wait, wait, I think this girl does high knees. I think. I'm not sure. Oh, here she go. So, nope, oh she no, not today. So how about <laughs> these two are the grandkids of the lady who's still yet to come out. They just ditched her. Gone. Running. Look yeah, at they, look they, at they were very bad. Very bad Oh, um, there she is, grandma. They just left grandma. Wow. <laughs> this guy, this guy is like, I'm gonna fake it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fake it, but nobody's really paying attention to me. <laughs> what I don't, or he just started walking with a lead. <laughs> um, oh my God, these three, all the way down to the bonfire. Uh, and that's like a spot. on top of each other. Oh yeah. They, they booked it. And they booked all the way down to the bonfire, did not stop. Yeah, they... This is a girl girlfriend. They, got, they must be part of cross country. Something. This girl's straight up just running. All these guys leaving their girls to fend for themselves. Now now, now, was it the guys leaving the girls, or are you guys in there intentionally doing this to people? <laughs> this wasn't intentional at all. Our, our goal was just to just, like, there I am right there. Like, I'm actually suited up having some fun. And, I mean, the whole goal was just to, just to scare them. There wasn't any separation. There was no rules. It was just make sure that everybody got out safe. This girl, this girl, watch her hand. Is this boy on crutches? Yep. Do you see her hand? Oh yeah, no. She straight up grabbed yeah. the crutch of her I'm own. Sure she didn't take him out. No. It, it, I, it was like, what? No, oh, here. Yeah, here. and I love this look. The turtle. I call that the turtle. When people start getting so scared that they're. Their neck warmers start coming out. You know you did a good job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this girl booked it. And I was just like, I don't know why. I'm definitely just... on the track. Oh, yeah. These guys, these guys are so funny. Uh... There's Kelly in the background with the drill arm. Oh, there her. <laughs> There was like five of us in there. Two or three. I love it. Not even in costume. Oh yeah. 
that this guy, this is this is a dad with That's his. Good stuff. I'm pretty convinced that. Like, he's he, trying to push he, them back. Yeah. He's like putting them back. Like, no, 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 you stay here. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he tried to like, like give us his. Like, he was just like, oh, this seems like a great place to leave my kids. Stay. Bye. <laughs> he's smiling about it though. The yeah. Kid. Yeah, G care time. I'm going to sponsor. Oh my god, this guy, this is, this is, this is the one. This guy was, he was terrified and he, oh, he went down. He went down oh. and he was scrambled. I'm really, I'm really happy he was wearing underwear this day. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. But the best part about it is that his girlfriend is just walking out casually. He finally hits the ground and gives up and she just starts laughing. So hard. <laughs> like it, it's that, that that was 2015. That was so that was, you know, rough almost five years ago at this point. And I mean like the number of of boyfriends and girlfriends that literally like just up and fight or flight and just flight the entire time is just absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I'm uh, sure. It's one of my favorite things. I like, you know, the guys come in, they, they, they act so tough, but, you know, up in the, the walkthrough, we see it all the time. The guys will literally shove their girlfriend in our faces and run. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, we, we got our eyes on you, tough guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we're, co we're coming for you, you big tough guys. We're going we're gonna to scare you. We don't, you know, we're just going to make it all happen. But I love it. That's got to be my favorite part. Or in sector when we separate them, like we separate the boyfriend and the girlfriend, and we keep the boyfriend and torture him, and the girlfriend doesn't want to venture on by herself anymore. <laughs> I didn't press. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So should we tell him our, our little secret, Michael? Why why we get under their skin so bad? Yeah, I mean, I think so. It wouldn't hurt. You know, we're coming for him regardless. So the reason, you know, you guys, we, we all know going into this, um, we're, we're out there to scare everyone and that's our job, but we know deep down and we try and preach this to our actors, the, the women are usually already a little bit scared. That's the easy target. We don't, we don't go for the easy targets. So the, pretty much the entire time I've worked at Reaper's Revenge, our big slogan has always been scare the guys. You can ask any of our actors, you know, what is, what is our um, intention? And that's what they're going to say to you. We're, we're out there to scare the guys. And it starts from the moment you get on the hayride, you know, you guys get up there, you're the tough guys. We start needling away at you. No way. By the time you get to sector 13, there you are falling out the doors. <laughs> oh yeah. It's, it's always fun to see like how, like the condition that people show up on uh it's a sector i mean i can always tell what the show is like just by watching the people walk up to sector and if like i see if i see like a guy that just like, has like the simba mark on his forehead and he's kind of just shuffling his way looking at sector 13 and his girlfriend's just like hey, yay! and he's just like i just want to die <laughs> i am exhausted i mean and that, that's what's funny you know what i mean like i can't tell you the number of times i've spent an exorbitant amount of money to take a date to another haunted attraction and, and mind you it's very rare anymore because i think a lot of the haunted attractions in the united states have got have focused a lot similarly to what we're doing but it was always a bummer when like i would spend so much money on this cute little date night and my date would just get all of the scares in the action it's just like i wasn't even there it was like i was just a shadow that was walking alongside the pretty girl at the haunt. and I, I just, I don't believe in that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want the girl to be laughing at me because I got knocked on my ass from being scared by a trap door. You know what I mean? Absolutely. That's, and from the other end of the spectrum, I as a woman, any time we've, I won't say any time, because, you know, a lot of the better haunts out there are doing what we do, um, focusing on the guys, focusing on the whole group, you know, making sure everybody gets an equal show. But I've definitely gone to haunts where they're just solely focusing on me. And it gets a little daunting. You know, I, 
especially, you know, I'm not scared. I'm a haunter, guys. Um, you know, give give somebody else a little attention out there. So I I, I, I like that we pride ourselves in, in giving every great show. Yeah, absolutely. 110% of the show, all the time for everybody and everything. And we're coming to get you. And I think I think this year I need to do another another video like this. Another I don't know if it'll be slow motion, but another video of people just getting the crap scared out of them. I think so. Either we we should do it we should do it out of the carnival or or maybe out of our new attraction that, that we can call by name now. Just what is it? Project Delirium. I wanted to say Disturbia. That's not it. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, we should do a Delirium episode of of this. I think that would be great because yeah. we got big things coming at you. Oh yeah, big things coming up this year. A lot of fun. We're we're planning everything out now, and uh, you know we'll uh, we'll have more and more as 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 time comes on, as we come out of the out of the darkness here with all the stuff that's going on in the world, and you know. But we're excited. We're excited regardless to uh, to make everything happen, and um, more news to come. And we'll have a, another episode next week. We're actually going to show the transformation of the makeup department over the 10 or 11 years of Reaper's Revenge existence. So if you're into makeup, special effects, and uh, prosthetics. That's, and that's a big trans. Yeah, so tune in next week, next Friday, we'll at eight o'clock, we'll have another episode of Reaper's Revenge called for you. Todd and Kelly, it's back to you guys in the studio. See you guys later. She's here to pump you up. <laughs> Jen's been toning. She, she's been toning. <laughs> <like>. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Don't think that ain't making it into a video somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> and we're back. Oh, man, that was a good show. I, uh, I love the slow-mo video. If you uh, haven't gotten a chance to watch the entire thing, it's on uh, Vimeo, I believe. I, I, we'll post it to the Reapers page after uh, we post the video tonight. It's uh, 13 minutes of awesomeness of just people cruising right out of Sector 13 away from the Chainsaw Guys. Classic moments. Uh, of, of of good scares and and just it's it's a good time. <laughs> I, I'll tell you every every week when we uh, uh, we have Michael and uh, Jen uh, doing Reapers are called. It kind of just stimulates me to like I, I spent earlier today I was just searching old reviews, hearing what people talked about, what they liked. What, you know, I mean, uh, you know, honestly, we get a lot of great reviews because we work really hard. But, yeah. you know, I'm always looking for where can we go next? How can we improve? But I'm always going back to that stuff. So the recalled stuff really brings that back. I mean, I was watching review videos from like four or five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, wow, you liked it then? Wait till you see what we're doing now, you know? Yeah, it's, it's gonna, this is going to be a goodie. Yeah, this goodie. year is going to be great. So, uh, Kelly, man, another great week in the books. I can't wait to see you up on the mountain uh, in a couple days. And yeah. uh, we'll keep working on Delirio. Peace, love, and understanding. We'll see you next time. Hot Life Tonight. You still here? It's over. Go home!
Go! And get off my lawn!